welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen, and today I'm going to do a walk around video presentation for you on this fantastic 2014 Mazda BT50 XTR High Rider. So it is a 4x2, very nice looking ute. And part of the video today, I'm going to go through the features for you of what this car's got on it and why it's such a good vehicle. So being the XTR, straight away you'll notice the fog lamps in the bottom there, which is really good for the um, driving purposes, you'll see they've gone to the extent of putting a East Coast Bull Bars um, nudge bar on there, which is really good. So nice chrome nudge bar, quite a tall one in comparison to the standard ones. We've got our driving light mounts in the front there, so really good. They don't stick up above the bonnet in your way, so very good there. Our Mazda badging behind there with the big open grille for plenty of airflow keeping the car cool. And they've even gone to the extent of putting the little roof whistles down the bottom there as well. So really good looking car, nice headlights there, plenty of chrome uh, around the bottom there. And then having a look across the paintwork for you, looking across the bonnet, the overall condition seems to be very good. I can't see any big stone chips or anything on there. Um, same for the front bumper bar, no, no big um, stone chips or anything that stand out to me. Having a look at the driver's guard, you can see we've got our nice little indicator in there. Coming down we have our really nice alloy rims. Having a look at the condition, just seeing there, there might be a little bit of marking there, it might just be from the tyres being installed. It does look like it's got near new tyres with great tread on the top there. Coming further back we've got our nice chrome mirrors here, we also have our nice big flat side steps. And you can see having a look with our chrome door handles, looking at our windows, looks like they've been tinted already which is really good, helps with the heat. And then looking at the condition of the paintwork so far, Really, really good. First note, just a little bit of dirt on there after last night's dusty weather and the drizzle that we've had this morning. Now coming to our second alloy rim here, you can see, once again, really nicely styled, great condition, no scuff marks at all, and a really good rear tire there. And then you can see, looking at the side of the tub, really good condition there. We've got a really nice aero class uh, canopy on there, which does have the lift up windows so nice slimline lift up windows on the side they're making it really easy just to reach in to get your stuff out on both sides also having the fact that you can lock them up is really nice too and you can see a tail light wrapping around from the side of the tub into the tailgate really nicely styled there <coughs> excuse me we do have a genuine mazda tow bar down the bottom there giving this ability to tow three and a half ton brake you see we've got our we also have a um, Anderson plug down here and it is a 12 pin uh, plug there too so you can see as well as our rear step we've also got the reverse camera there on the above the number plate and then opening up the back of the tailgate there you can see look at that how nice is that rubber that's been screwed down really nice there it's even had the extra gas struts put on the tailgate so making it really nice uh, and easy to put down, not having to worry about dropping the tailgate down. So really well stalled. Looks like it's got the little extra piece here which uh, stops any water or helps prevent the water and dust getting into there. And nice and easy just to pop back up and close. So really, really has been well thought of here. Great for putting your stuff in there if you're going away camping and that sort of thing as well. You also notice as I look down at the uh, trailer or the tow bar hitch it has got a lock pin on there so that it can't be pinched out and have your tow bar tongue uh, knocked off so coming around now to the passenger side having a look this car is in really really good condition great tires once again looking at the alloy rim really well looked after the condition of the canopy really nice slim streamlined canopy as well and then coming down the left hand side Really, really good condition there. Nice chrome door handles once again. We've got a few little scratches just behind the door, which is just standard from people getting in with their nails in behind there. Looking at our mirrors, really good. And as we come continue down the left-hand side, you'll see back to our front alloy wheel on the left-hand side. Fantastic condition. Once again, really, really good tyres on this car. So you're not going to have to worry about spending money uh, on tyres or anything uh, for the outside at this point in time. As we come back around to the front now, popping the bonnet for you, go through the stats on this uh, turbo diesel here for you. So we've got our lever there. So you can see underneath there, 
It is a five cylinder, 3.2 litre turbo diesel, which is really good, producing a very impressive 147 kilowatts of power and 470 newton meters of torque. Now that's really where your towing ability comes from, is that pulling power. 8.9 litres per 100 kilometres is going to be our average fuel use, which is fantastic. So out of the 80 litre fuel tank, we're looking at around 899 kilometres per uh, tank of fuel. All right, now to the inside of this fantastic BT50 here. I'm going to start on the driver's side for you. You can see though, sitting in here, it's very simple, nice and easy to use. Everything's really close and uh, easy there. The seats are quite comfortable as well. You'll see on our driver's armrest, all our window controls nicely situated on the uphill slope. So nice and easy to use there. Our mirror controls as well and our window lock button at the bottom. Turning the steering wheel to the right, just so you can see, we've got the two keys with the car. We have the two keys for the canopy as well, which is really good. On our right hand stalk here, we've got our headlight control and our fog lamp control. So we can flick the little switch there to turn them on and off. As I said, really good for driving in dull light conditions, gives you that extra light at the front. Our wiper controls are on the left hand stalk there. And then looking at the steering wheel, you can see it's in perfect condition, really nice, easy to use. Cruise control settings are all on the right hand side and all our stereo controls on the left hand side here. Our phone answer and hang up button there as well as the voice activation, which is really good. They always take a little bit to get used to on the voice activation side of things, but having a look now to the center command unit, you'll see our nice digital screen up the top there, nice and easy to read. We've got all our hard buttons along the bottom here with our door lock, our hazard lights in the middle, our air vents there too. And then for the stereo, you've got your CD radio, AUX, you can go info, does have the nav button, let's see, push the OK, um, I think, where's the map, let's push the map button, and there you go, you can see we've got satellite navigation as well, so really handy, being the XTR uh, as well. Coming down below, you'll see we've got our hard buttons for our dual zone climate control, so we can change the temperature there. If the passenger likes it a bit warmer than yourself driving, you can certainly keep that low, or you can push the auto and bring it all back to one, which is really nice. On off button there, our fan speed, and then changing through our modes in the middle there. So really nice and easy. Rear demister and our front windscreen on there too. So and then we've got our 12 volt charge point right at the front there with our traction stability control button. And in front of my knee, you'll also see our electronic brake controller that's been installed. So the little switch on the side here means we can just use the trailer brake without touching the brakes which is really handy for going down hills and stuff having a look at our transmission shifter now popping it into drive you can put it in automatic you can pop it across into the sports mode plus and minus and drive like a manual so even better for towing as well and then popping it back into reverse as i mentioned outside we do have our reverse camera so it has had a stick on or a replacement mirror put over the original one which gives us that nice big mirror um, I'll turn the thing for the video so you can see our reverse camera there nice and clear in the middle of the screen and then that just disappears the minute you take it out of reverse so really handy there having a look down at the cup holders and our handbrake lever really good we also have another 12 volt charge point in front of our center console here nice little storage tray at the top and then popping that up you can see there plenty of storage room in the center console and very very good condition in there now as we have a look around the rest of the car you'll see the seats nice plush uh, and nice and comfortable seating there just the material with a nice insert the carpets are in great condition looking around the vehicle the roof is in really good condition as well so and same as the back seats too they look to be in fairly good condition from what i can see which is really good now this car having done only just over 30,000 kilometers does present near new so in summary of the car definitely a great car fully set up ready to tow or go away camping that sort of thing as well if you've got any more questions about the car please give us a call here at berwick mitsubishi on 9907 and one of our friendly staff will assist you further